I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars news alert. We have the article on InfoWars.com headline, U.S. Army buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo and popular civilian firearms. A U.S. Army solicitation posted on July 18th on the Federal Biz Opportunities website asked for 2.5 million rounds of 7.62-39 ball ammunition, that's a popular AK-47 round, also 600,000 rounds of blank ammunition for the same, and 425,000 rounds of 9 by 18 millimeter. In addition to the ammunition, back in 2012, the U.S. Army was looking for a vendor who could, quote, reach around the world at any given moment to gather and provide multiple types of weapons and weapon parts. The solicitation also asked for books, manuals, tools, and gauges pertaining to those firearms. Now, keep in mind the U.S. military and the United States police forces do not use a 7.62 round in any official capacity, usually opting for a 5.56 round or a 223. But you know who does use a 7.62 round? The Syrian rebels. The Syrian rebels who have pledged their allegiance to al-Qaeda, the Syrian rebels who are funded by the Obama administration, the Syrian rebels who Mrs. Clinton admitted that we created. When the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, we had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of Mujahideen, equip them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside Afghanistan. And also the Syrian rebels who hang out with John McCain in his spare time. If you want something that uses a 7.62 round, you can go by the InfoWars shop and pick up a Come and Take It shirt. It has the AK-47 chambered in a 7.62 round and also the AR-15 that shoots a 223. I'm Jakari Jackson and this has been an InfoWars News Alert. Oh. <laughs>